John Cullen did cut the lead with four minutes remaining to give Rotherham a few anxious moments, but they survived. 2-1 the final scoreline. It was one-way traffic until the visitors took a shot lead. Steve Howard's shot thudded off the post. John Cullen was on hand to finish the job. Three minutes after the break, and a superb move was matched by John Cullen's final touch. It's always fiercely contested when the two tribes meet, and two goals in a minute liven things up on this derby day. The visitors took the lead, John Cullen did the damage with a top solo performance. Two minutes gone, and it was two, with another impressive solo effort from John Cullen. It was his fourth goal in successive games, and his sixth for the season. For any scouts watching, it's halfway up the A19, just head for the new marina. There was a sting in the tail though, Hartlepool began to storm the Palace with seven minutes left, top scorer John Cullen heading in from a corner. The result of the night and the goal of the night, John Cullen's strike had everything, quick thinking, radar accuracy and Swansea defenders looking comical, trying to prevent it. They needed a helping hand to get them going on Saturday, once the bouncing back pass was on its way, this was always, always going to happen. That was John Cullen's ninth of the season. His tenth was a much sweeter affair. It clinched a comfortable three points for Mick Tate's men and it was taken with some style. But his stoppage time strike will live long in the memory. Dipping and swaying, he just kept on going until he found the gap. The point saved keeps Poole on Scarborough's tail for a place in the third division playoffs. With a superb strike from John Cullen. It was his twelfth of the campaign and it's no wonder the scouts have been hovering around Victoria Park. 